everyone. We have Bart and Jennifer, Jennifer Mills here, our local movie reviewers, our experts in all things entertainment. <laughs> And today uh, we are going to be discussing a brand new movie. It is called Killers of the Flower Moon. So I know it stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Martin Scorsese, Brendan Fraser, Robert De Niro. Big cast. Yeah, it's a phenomenal cast. Of course, this is a Martin Scorsese production. Uh, so I and I will argue probably. We're in late stage Scorsese. He's hitting on 80 about now, um, and probably one of the best of his late stage movies. It is, it is this is the story. Um, it's based on a David Grand book called Killers of the Flower Moon. It is a phenomenal book. Everybody should probably read it. Um, it's the true story of 1920s in Oklahoma. The Osage people discovered oil on their land. They became very wealthy, and this being America, they were basically put under the um the the protection of the government to make sure that they didn't misspend their money and then there was a whole lot of effort to get their money away from them all together it's not spoiling anything to say that there were anywhere between 20 and 100 murders of osage people in an effort to take their money from them and this is the story of that all that right. case all right now i've heard really good things about this movie are there any actors that really just like gave it to you during this this production well i really felt that the woman who played molly uh her name is lily gladstone she was actually going to retire from acting <laughs> and scorsese begged her to play this role she is leo's wife she and her mother and her sisters all inherited these head rights of the land that you know and they are very very wealthy so de niro's character who is leo's uh, uncle he wants leo to marry into the family so then he will be able to get these head rights from this family and take all their money all right and that, of course, she was amazing yeah and they, everyone keeps saying about Leonardo DiCaprio in this in this movie like he he was fantastic they kept saying award winner you know the best best uh you know best performance ever what do you think well, we know that you had a personal meeting with Leo DiCaprio in a in a bagel joint in New York at you one point that. so you're a big fan <laughs> however um i you know i'm not a, i'm not in camp leo i think he's fine he's gotten better i think he was very good in once upon a time in hollywood um he is okay in this he's playing a so you know the the, the actual true life character was in his 20s at this point leo is well past that and he's starting to look it and so he's you know I, the the problem is it's him versus De Niro, who is a truly American jewel, and Lily Gladstone, who is phenomenal in her her stillness and dignity. And then you got Leo, who's just fidgety and and angry and sorrowful. And I know he's really trying to act, but I can always see him trying to act. And so uh, compared to the other actors on the stage, even some of the character actors that come in throughout, it's, it, you know, he, he gets kind of blown away as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I know that Robert De Niro is fantastic, but I will say Leonardo DiCaprio is very nice. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we chatted this is for a personal long time connection to Leo. City, yeah. And, you know, it was just uh, rub barbecue. That's what I don't even know if Red Barbecue is still there. Oh, but. yeah, it was a barbecue joint. Yeah, no. <laughs> a bagel joint. He was very nice, kid. and he was taller than I am, so, and I'm 5'10 and a half, so he's pretty tall. <laughs> <laughs> so Rotten Tomatoes, that, you know, is a 92% approval rate, so, you know, what do you think? Um, I, thumbs down, thumbs sideways, thumbs up. I have a oh. feeling I'm going to get out my crank here and just do it a big thumbs up, but I don't know. Tell me. Yeah, I thought, I mean, this is really, to be honest with you, it's hard to say that something's a masterpiece when you see it right away. Right. Um, it took me a while on, you know, Goodfellas probably, but... I left the theater, and this is a, by the way, a three hour and 20 minute movie. So go, you know, go to the bathroom early and often and, and, and take your popcorn. Don't get drink, the giant big gold at yeah. the concession stand. But it is, it, it doesn't feel like three hours and 20 minutes. No, pretty it, quickly. It, it is an epic sweep of a movie. It's beautifully shot. It's, of course, expertly directed and well acted. So I, I highly recommend it. I, I think it's something that everybody should see. And everyone will probably already guess this. This, this movie is going to be up for best picture, mm -hmm. best director, best actor best supporting actors so if you follow the oscars and you try to see all the oscar uh movies like we always do 
um, you're definitely going to want to go see this. All right. Well, Barton, Jennifer Mills, thank you so much for introducing us to Killers of the Flower Moon, shown in theaters everywhere right now. So uh, always come back, give us your insight, give us your information, and we look forward to having you again, okay? Thanks. Thank you. All right. Don't go away. We have more coming up soon.